The grog shop's been going since uh, 1965. We counted as uh, when business first started, when my dad started first making things in clay in the early 60s. Um, but we moved to the shop here on Broadway in 1971. My dad was doing a normal job. He just decided that he'd had enough of being an ordinary person and he just bought a bag of clay and started making things out of clay. Um, he didn't know what he was doing really. He didn't know how to fire stuff and glaze it and things like that, but he, he sort of worked it out. And the things he was making back in, in the old days were kind of weird and unusual. Um, people didn't understand what they were until he started putting them in rugby shirts and then because we're in Wales people got that and um, we took off from there. Yeah well I just start with a bag of clay and I make um, a rough uh, sketch uh, armature of the of the person uh, whatever it is I'm doing and um, I just build it up a musculature on top of that and then get to the face the interesting part for me and um, but that takes between six and eight weeks to make um, whether it's a small figure or a, a medium sized figure sometimes it takes even longer sometimes it takes six to eight months to, to finish the master figure which is the really fiddly complicated piece then we make a mold from that then each piece is cast and hand painted from there it's a very time consuming process we've done a lot of famous people from people as as big in the world as Pavarotti um, to great sports stars, uh, you know, George Best, uh, Eric Cantona, um, all the way to Gareth Bale at the moment and Aaron Ramsey, uh, players like that. And of course the rugby players, which is our, our greatest love. Um, we've made all the great players in the world at, at one time. Well, obviously we've got the World Cup come around the corner in, in uh, England and it's going to be a massive tournament. Wales and England's group is very exciting a little bit daunting but um, and we never know with the World Cup who's going to be the star uh, what's going to happen so it's a little bit difficult for us to predict that but um, we'll be watching it you know like everybody else and waiting to go with the clay and ready yeah